In this video, I'm going to show you the best exercises to instantly improve circulation and blood flow to the calves. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to go over easy exercises that can instantly improve blood flow and circulation to the calves. A quick note, each one of these exercises works just a little bit differently. They're going to be shown in different positions. To get the best results, go through them all and use what works best for you. With that being said, let's get started. So one of the best and easiest ways to improve blood flow and circulation to our legs, calves, all the way down our foot, is by doing a cell massage here's a really easy method that you can use anytime that you need it throughout the day so let's start by taking one leg and resting that side's ankle over our other side's knee that way our whole leg is supported everything is nice and relaxed a couple notes before we start the first being we're only going to go over soft tissue things that we can pinch onto like skin and muscle we're going to avoid anything bony like the shin bone because that can cause irritation next when you do this always start low and work upward towards the heart. That way it will drive circulation into our legs a little bit better. So I'm going to start by taking my fingers and just kind of grabbing right into the front part of my leg off to the side also. And we're just going to grip in there just enough to the point where it's going to be a comfortable self-massage. And then I take my thumbs right here and I just place them right over the Achilles tendon area on the back of the ankle. What you want to do is just grip in there and just kind of do a circular massage just like this with your fingers. I like to go over one spot roughly about three to five seconds, release it, and then just switch over a different spot and repeat, exploring the whole area on the top part of the ankle off to the sides, the front, and the back. Once that feels pretty good, I'm just gonna move up a little bit towards my calf and then repeat, doing this over and over again until I finally get into my calf muscle. The goal is to find that one certain spot, like right here for me, that just feels really tight and achy. And at that point, I just keep digging into that soft tissue over and over again until it finally releases or I'm not getting any more improvement. And if you do have one spot, like I have a big muscle knot right here over my calf muscle that just doesn't feel like it wants to release. At that point, to take this one to the next level, we can activate the calves by throwing in some ankle and foot movements. So just press your foot away from you as much as you can, and you're going to notice those muscles will start to activate, and you can dig into them just a little bit more. You can also bring your foot towards you like this, and it'll hit the muscles just a little bit differently. So give that a try in both directions, and if it helps out a little bit more, just keep digging in there until every everything is nice and loose. So again, we're gonna to work towards the Achilles, we're gonna work into the calf, towards the back of the knee. You're more than welcome to also go over the back of the thigh, the front of the thigh, all across the knee. Just target any spot that needs it a little bit more. And then from there, when you're done on one side, switch to the other leg and repeat to help keep everything in balance. So here's a really good set of exercises that you can do right in a chair. A quick note before we start with all of these movements, you want to do them for 10 to 15 repetitions on both sides. But if it does feel like you have a little bit more energy, challenge yourself by throwing in another set or two. So the first move that we're going to do, we're going to take our heels and just gently press them down into the floor and then raise our toes upward towards the ceiling. At this point, you're going to feel a really good activation around the calves. Focus on that as much as you can, and then hold this for a second or two, and then slowly lower the balls of your feet towards the floor, press them into the floor, and now raise your heels towards the ceiling. Hits the calves just a little bit differently. But you want to do this nice and slowly, back and forth as a fluid movement. So the next one that you can do is a windshield wiper. So we're just going to drive our heels towards the floor again, raise our toes up, and now swing our feet towards one side until we feel that deep activation into our calves. We're going to hold this for a couple seconds and then just like a windshield wiper, go towards the other side. Just back and forth as much as we can. And you can also do this on the balls of your feet to again, target the muscles a little bit differently. But if you really wanna take this one to the next level, we can add in a marching motion. So let's get back on our heels, toes up towards the ceiling, and we're just going to drive this knee up towards our chest as much as we can until we feel a really good activation of the muscles right here on the top of our leg. All of this is interconnected, so to get as much blood flow down to our calves as possible, let's try to fire as many muscles as possible. Hold this for a couple seconds, come back down, do it on the other side. And you can also do this on the balls of your feet to again, target the muscles a little bit differently. 
but go through all of these movements. You're probably going to find one just feels really weak. Treat that like your weak link, and at that point, throw more repetitions in until it feels like you've got a really good workout. So here are some really good exercises that you can do standing. The first one, we're going to take the balls of our feet and place them right at the edge of a step. Our heels are going to be off. What you want to do first is slowly lower your heels towards the floor, but don't let them touch. Let them hover because at this point you're going to feel a deep activation into the calves. Should feel like a really good stretch. I like to hold this one for a second or two and then slowly drive my heels upward towards the ceiling as much as I can. At this point, you're going to feel a deep activation into the calves. Again, hold this one comfortably for a second or two, and then you're going to slowly lower your heels back towards the floor, fighting your body weight. So we're fighting our body weight going down and up to hit the muscles a little bit differently. I like to do this one for about 10 to 15 times in both directions. But if it feels like you have a little bit more energy, challenge yourself by throwing in another set or two. To take this one to the next level, what we can do is called an eccentric calf raiser. So instead of going up like this, straight up I should say, tilt a little bit towards one side. So kind of lean towards the right and then lift up. You're going to notice it hits the muscles a little bit differently. Then I kind of like to swing towards my left and then go back down. But go through as many different positions as possible. You can go up right like this and then down left. Circular motions, diagonal motions. What you're trying to do is identify any spot that feels like it's weak. And at that point, build into it more and more to the point where it feels like you got a really good workout. So another thing that you can try is by using something that is soft and round like a tennis ball. If you don't have one, just roll up a couple towels or a couple socks into a ball and that should work. But we're just going to place the ball or the object on the floor and we're just going to squeeze into it with our heels to the point where we're going to be able to lift it with our heels. And then from here, you're just going to do that calf raiser, lifting your heels upward as much as you can. You're going to notice that it hits the muscles a little bit differently. So give that a try going up and down for about 10 to 15 times. You can also do that eccentric movement if you're able to and explore as many different movements as possible. But go through all of these exercises. If you find that one just helps you out a little bit more at that point, throw more repetitions in. So here's a really good exercise that you can do in bed or on a floor, just lie flat on your back like this. The first movement, we're going to take our legs, straighten them out just like this. Take your feet, press them away from you as much as you can until you feel a deep but comfortable activation into your calves. Once you feel this, Hold it for a second or two and then just slowly bring your feet towards you. It's going to hit the muscles a little bit differently. But I like to do this pressing away and then bringing them back towards me just nice and slowly for about 10 to 15 times in both directions. And with each repetition, try to build into it just a little bit more. Afterwards, see how you feel. If it feels like you have a little bit more energy and this is really helping out, try to throw in another set or two. It's only going to help improve circuit a little bit more. So the next movement that you can try is called a windshield wiper. For this one, we're going to take our heels, press them gently down into the bed or the floor, and then just slowly swing our feet towards one side as much as we can. Again, focusing on feeling a deep, comfortable activation into our calves. Once we feel that, we're going to hold this for a second or two and then just slowly go towards the other side, kind of like a windshield wiper going back and forth. Try to do this 10 to 15 times in both directions. But if you really want to take this one to the next level and drive some good blood flow into the calves, what you can do is what is called a foot slider. So for this one, we're going to have our knees bent, feet flat. Just have your legs roughly hip width apart. You're going to take one foot and just slide it away from you as much as you can until again, you feel that deep, comfortable activation into the calf muscles. Once you feel that, hold this for a second or two, slide your foot back towards you while the other one goes out. So it's kind of just like a nice, fluid movement of taking one foot out while the other one comes back and just focus on the calves as much as you can. Do this 10 to 15 times in both directions, but if it does feel like you have a little bit more energy, challenge yourself by throwing in another set or two. And with all of these movements, if you find that one just helps you out a little bit more, like maybe doing the windshield wiper right here, 
challenge yourself by throwing more repetitions in. If the exercises help, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.